all right guys so i'm back uh so it's been nearly two weeks since i've set up this grow tent i did a video about it uh, it's a two-part video first part i talked about um the uh things and the yeah the things i used to build this tent uh talk about the misting system and the second part is when i was able to build it and uh final layout of uh of the grow tent with a misting system um, so far I haven't really changed anything uh, everything's doing really well um, but uh, this video is about uh, vining plants um, so when I've set up this grow tent um, I had this vision that this ten uh, tent will be bigger I'll be using uh, of course I'm still using um, the garden fencing that I've used also from my previous tent and uh, my plan was to let the uh, vining plants um, go go up and trail uh, through those uh, through this uh, fencing um, and I've started that with the uh, vanilla orchid um, yeah so kind of weird for an orchid to grow like a vine um, and uh, apparently um, a vanilla orchid is uh, close this way um, I've uh, in uh, Andy's Orchid's uh, description in, in the website, when I purchased this plant, uh, it goes like a pothos. And it's not as a uh, aggressive grower like a pothos, but it's easy to grow. Uh, that's what I can say about this plant. So uh, I'll uh, show you guys uh, a picture of this plant when I purchase it. Um, but now um, I've repotted it in a ceramic pot it's a heavier pot um, so it won't move too much and I use this um, alternative for a moss pole with um, moss in it and some uh, sphagnum moss some fiber sphagnum moss and some um, call this uh, perlite also some uh, uh, orchid bark um, I've placed this uh, yeah so nearly two weeks now and uh, I think this plant loves it my plan is um, as you can see here so initially there's another uh, uh, segment of this pole up here I removed it and uh, as you can see here I've used uh, these clips to clip the uh, vanilla orchid in place my plan is to let it grow that way and then this one goes up and go this way and I'll like a zigzag pattern um, from what I've read is it needs to grow to a certain mass or length before it actually flowers and you know try to get vanilla beans and if I just grow it upwards one way um, I don't think I'll get 20 feet uh, this this tent is like 72 inches um, including the uh, the uh, I'm sorry the curved roof up there so yeah so i won't definitely get the 20 feet but i figured if i let it zigzag through then i'll be uh, getting it to a certain length and hopefully uh get it to flower but um just want to show here um i also play some sphagnum long fiber sphagnum moss when i clip it and the leaves are actually liking it so again it's all in theory for me um but orchids like a lot of humidity and I figured if I put um, some sphagnum moss in between the clips um, it will like that uh, extra moisture and as you uh, let me see here show you guys so you can see here roots have grown um, same here and let me see if I can zoom in there's a new one there right there yeah that's a new 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 root so it's it's liking it likes what I've done here um, so far so um, it's it's really cool that uh, the plant is responding in a positive way and so far my theory seems like it's gonna work um, and the other thing is I've also placed some sphagnum moss here uh, extra sphagnum moss out of the um, uh, of this uh, pole and the plant seems to like it now yesterday I was looking at this one here it's a new growth but this one ain't clipped at all so it's not clipped or tied by any means on the pole but I tried to move it and it won't it won't budge and apparently it has some roots growing through 
the pole already in this area let me see where um, i don't want to break the roots there in this area here and this one let me see if i can show you guys so that, that you see that small white thing that's a root that has gone through the actual pole and the reason i'm excited about it is it's now utilizing the actual pole also as uh, a place to uh, uh, stick to and also grow through so that's a good thing uh, for this uh, orchid and uh, yeah so it's the substrate is mostly perlite I dressed it in long fiber sphagnum moss like maybe half an inch or even less so it's very you can easily see the perlite I just move it a little bit so mostly perlite to give it good drainage um, oh as you can see I have some wicking roots uh, roots no we can rope here. Uh, I've just seen this in Amazon. Uh, these are used to uh, self-water plants, um, but uh, I, I place it here because a lot of uh, excess water collects in this area here, and I don't want uh, it to stay too long. So it's kind of working right now. It wicks the the water up through here, and then it evaporates. Uh, now back to this plant. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's the first one that I'm working on. For it to actually grow on in the grow tent. Um, the next one is Melanochrysum, uh, Philodendron Melanochrysum. I did a video about this. It's got one leaf when I got it as a cutting. Now I have four leaves. The original leaf has fallen off. I'll do a, a, a thorough update about this plant. This one I won't let it go through the tent. I will let it go grow through uh, this uh, moss bulb because with the pictures online, this plant really gets really big. The, they get really big and I don't want them um, uh, like creeping through the fencing because I won't have enough room especially with how big this plant gets as you can see here um, this is the the leaf that grew after the first one the, the, this is the first ever leaf that I was able to grow but look at the size look at the leaf jump so I, I've learned about the term leaf jump from Nepenthes growers wherein when you start a Nepenthes, it has small le leaves and then if it likes the conditions it grows in, if it's happy, it suddenly has a leaf jump wherein the leaves uh, suddenly grow bigger than the previous ones. And that's the same thing here with this philodendron. Um, uh, from the first leaf that I was able to grow this small, now I've got, this one is the most recent growth and it's really big compared to the other one. So from a small leaf to slowly getting bigger with the new growth to this really big one so this one won't be in this uh, won't be growing through the uh, through this uh, garden fencing I will let it go to a moss pole eventually um, when it gets too big I will uh, move it to my um, uh, move it outdoors or not not really outdoors uh, outside of the tent um, but the other plant that I really want to see grow is this uh, Monstera Dubaya so initially when I'll show you a picture of uh, this plant when I receive it it's just really small it's not even in a uh, it's not even creeping upwards so I made this uh, I did a video about this inside is foam packaging uh, wrap it in cocoa choir and uh, yeah it looks dead down there because the old leaves has died off but it has a really long root, root structure in there uh, and it has climbed up and it's also have have that leaf chump um, getting bigger kind of slow down here but I can see a new let's see if I can zoom in a new growth here what I did then is uh, I have a wooden plank uh, that I uh, I'm gonna reuse it's from a shipment from a package we receive online it's used to uh, you know make the package secure I kept it because it looks perfect just go uh, just tie down um, this cocoa choir and the plan is I will let it climb up now If you guys want to see uh, online how a monstera dubaya looks as a mature plant It's really cool because its growth pattern is it grows flat in the sur on the surface So you can do a quick search. I was planning to borrow a uh, a copy uh, a picture online but I don't want to get into trouble because that's not obviously for a lot of reasons I mean it's it's a copyright rule so I won't do that but you can do a quick search if you want to see how it looks like that's the main reason why I bought this plant because uh, it has a cool uh, growing um, I'm sorry what's the look uh, yeah it, 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 it 
has a different way of growing compared to like the Monstera Deliciosa, uh, which is the Swiss cheese plant. It looks different. And the leaves has that like, uh, it's green with those silvery pattern, especially especially when it gets bigger. So I'm sorry about my zooming here. So what I plan is I will let it go through up here and eventually reach the top. So we'll see. Um, I think it will do that. It's not a hard plant to grow so far, I can say. Um, I've had this since June. Um, I mean, it's slow growing compared to like a pothos, obviously. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward for this plant to grow. So I'm really, again, excited about this grow tent because of my, a lot of projects I'm uh, trying to uh, do. Um, but yeah, basically that's it. Just want to show you guys. I'll definitely do an update if this is something that interests you um, I'll do an update um, how they do but uh, yeah um, that's it and uh, have a good one